Welcome to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35 at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. Besides this yoga fitness program, we have a yoga content website, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. And if you do come and stretch with us on the show, we will share with you my third title, Yoga Secrets, which has two plus eight ailment-specific cards inside. So basically what I've done is separated, isolated the postures, or separated the postures in such a way that you could stretch different parts of the body. So you have chest openers to help prevent asthma, you have knee benders to help prevent arthritis, and so on. So you target different regions of the body and work that part of the body if you don't have too much time. Of course, if you have time, you could always do the full sequence, the simple, basic, low-impact stretches called 48 Plus. It's a very um, low-impact bridge sequence, as I like to call it a bridge sequence and give yourself about 20 minutes. So you have 48 simple stretches, targeting 32 major muscle groups, glands, and organs in under 20 minutes. So, gentlemen, do we have 20 minutes in the day for ourselves? Oh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Before I move on to introduce our participants today, I'd like to thank on crew, on camera, we have Barbara Levin and Fran Dixon. Thank you so much for being there when we needed you. Josie and Heard, our director. Josiane is in the control room, so Josiane, thanks for being there for us once more. And Deshaun Pr uh, Pretlow, our facilitator for today, responsible for all these magical effects behind us. So we look like we've descended from space. Now, I'm going to save a very ambitious young gentleman to my right. I'm going to save him for later. Let me first introduce uh, Ron Thomas. Ron is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. To my left, Ron, you have a show called Big Talk. Big talk, yes. And you're always up to something. So what's the latest? Uh, we were talking about conflict minerals. Conflict minerals? Yes. OK, mining for minerals? Minerals that go into your cell phone, your television. Ah, oh, that's yeah. interesting. I, I should buy. be when is it airing? It's already aired? We did it yesterday. You ate, Oh, you go live? Yeah, yeah. Every Thursday, live, yeah. 1 to 2. Yeah, yeah. What channels? 56. Channel 56. Watch round 1 to 2, every Thursday, big talk. That would have been an the, interesting The time. conflict minerals where people are getting killed, and murdered, raped for... For the minerals? Yes. Wow. That should, All that like going on in Central Africa, right. in the Congo. Wow. That reminds me, the music that you hear, viewers out there, the music that you hear, that's body music created just for Yoga Express by Cesar de Parra. The opening ohms, the opening track for this program is from a CD called Sapta Tandva. Now, I'm going to reintroduce Rob Harper. Rob has been off my radar for some time, but you're back now, and I think I understand why you've been away for a while. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to steal your thunder. We're going to focus on something that you've been working on. Before you show us your book, Rob, what, what else have you been up to? Well, for the most part, I've been actually writing on a second book, a book of poetry. Oh, wow. Inspirational poetry, right. yes. Okay, so the poetry book is not out yet. Not out yet. What you have to share with us today, would you like to hold that up for Absolutely. the cameras? I think Barbara's camera will pick that up. This is my current book that's out. Yes. Available online and at bookstores. The title is That Job Just Isn't Into You, Starting Over When It's Over. I love the title. Amazing, beautiful title, very timely. Thank you. And what inspired you to write that? I. 
was part of corporate America for the past uh, 16 years. Right. And I myself was laid off from corporate America on the anniversary of my 15th year. Oh, yeah, yeah, what a gift. <laughs> exactly. Well, it could be a gift and a, if well, things actually, will work out. Right. The way I looked at it, it happened in 2008 when the economy was tanking. Right. And I was ready for a change. But at the same time, I saw so many other people that were going through the same thing. Right. right. And they didn't handle it so great. So my book, hopefully, is to give a different spin on being laid off and how to reinvent yourself. I love that. I, I can't tell you how this kind of a book and this title, title is just, uh, it's eternal. I mean, you don't get good titles like this. And title, of course, captures people's names Thank you. right away. Yes. Also, it's such a timely topic. That job just into you. Starting over when it's over. Rob Harper, check Rob out on some of the leading online bookstores. We're not allowed to tell you which bookstores. You can figure it out. And um, Rob, you, they can actually download it for a small fee. Absolutely. We won't even tell them how much. But it's so, it's so minimal, you won't even feel a dent in your pocket. <laughs> it's really worth it. So is this in chapters? How have you put it together? In chapters, uh, 29 chapters. Uh, at the beginning, I deal with my personal experience. Right. Giving you do's and don'ts, what you don't want to do when you're laid off. A lot of people have like mental breakdowns or psycho breakdowns. And then, exactly. And I also, at the same time, not just my experience, but I've interviewed 10 other people right. from different spectrums, different backgrounds, and they share their stories, what happened to them and what they did. And I think it's very, very inspirational. So you've interviewed all these people. I'm assuming yes. you've obviously got their permission. Absolutely. To quote them. Yes. And these are... Uh, these are people just like you and me who have had right. everyday experiences, right. and you can relate all of that exactly. to everyone else. Exactly. From professional backgrounds to blue-collar workers, the entire gamut. Wonderful. How is it selling right now? So far, really good. Know? Just released it in uh, the middle of February. And you had a signing. And uh, had a book signing. Yes, I did. Wonderful. Yes, I did. And it was uh, warmly received. That's so right. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the message that it has. We are excited for you, Rob, Thank because you. I think that is so timely. Like I said, it's a topic that can be timely at any time in Universal. our lives. Yes. Right now, it's even more timely because Absolutely. times are not looking good. Well, here's what we're going to do. And just to help us feel better about ourselves right here on the mat, without even thinking of what's out there, there are lots of things. You know, you talk about mercury and retrograde. You believe in all that, right? Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, I, I know people talk about uh, Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, <laughs> it will. It will. I always tell everybody Murphy lives with me because things always go wrong. But talk about it's mercury actually a blessing. retrograde. Is it good? You mean for things going wrong? Is that a blessing? Well, you get... Your skill set. You get a chance to reset your life, turn your clock back, and you reset. You get all these experiences in you. Right, it happens for a reason. <laughs> it happens for, that's true, happens life for happens, and there's always a reason for everything. You get a new level of expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ron. That's, that's called positive thinking. Ron has been stretching with us yeah. so often, now he's starting to see everything in a positive way. So, welcome back to the yeah. show, Ron, and welcome to Watch the show, Watch out for Ron. your computer crashing. Well, I know, it did, it did, it <laughs> almost did. Uh, well, they didn't exactly crash. You have a Macintosh. They're not supposed to crash. They're not. It didn't crash. I think some. All before March 11th, I guess that's when Mercury went into whatever retrograde or something. Mercury needs to come to yoga with us. All my emails before March 11th disappeared. So now I'm starting to renew my contacts. Let's stand up. Let's at least feel good. I don't want to dig myself into that pit of depression. So we're going to start stretching. We're going to start with the sun salutation. We have about. 15, about 20 minutes to stretch. So I'm the shortest, so maybe I should come forward and yeah. not too far back because okay. you need to take your legs back. So somewhere about halfway in the mat run. That's it. Palms together, heels together, toes slightly apart, elbows are out. Remember, we're going to share with you today, between today and the next three days, we're going to take you through the sun salutation and the full sequence in blocks, blocks of 15, 20 postures each time. Inhale, take your arms up. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Now keep your knees together, heels together, tilt your pelvis forward just a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down. Dip your head between your biceps and hold. 
I remember, Rob, you were uh, doing a little bit of a warm-up before we started stretching. Yes. So this, the sun salutation itself is a good warm-up because we also hold it a long time. Feels good. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? And remember, for those of you at home, if, when you're practicing any forward folds, learn to breathe in and out through the belly. It really helps to strengthen your abdominals. You're talking about ab workout. In yoga, we don't use any external props. We try to use our own bodies, and we try to move with gravity. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Place the right knee. If it doesn't come in one go, that's OK. Use your hands to push your left foot forward. Right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot. Both palms on the left knee. Exhale and dip. So there are simple guidelines that we use right here on the mats. Every time you go down, you inhale up, exhale down. So when the body, even when it's folding down or just going down, you exhale. It just makes it that much easier to get to your target. Now, inhale, raise the right arm, exhale, dip the right elbow over the left knee. And notice how I'm pushing my left knee in to get my right elbow way over my knee as far as I can go. Place the left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. In round two, I'll call out the names. Round one, we're just holding it for a longer time. Remember, every time you hold your posture, you are releasing all those happy, feel-good juices called endorphins. And of course, once we finish stretching here, go out and look for Rob's book. Inhale, let's come out of that. Place both palms beside the left foot, curl your toes in and the right. Raise your right knee, take the left to meet the right in plank position. Now this, I understand this posture is not, is a favorite for the guys, but not exactly my favorite because I don't have enough arm strength. So I'm gonna come out of it quickly. Knees, chest and chin. Before we bring our chest down, bring your knees down and we'll explain to you how you go down. We're gonna glide down as we exhale and then inhale and glide out into Cobra. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into Cobra. Now, right here in this posture, you're already, if you keep your feet close together, strengthen your buttock muscles, your gluteals, strengthen your low back muscles, you already can feel a nice tightening of the low back. Do you feel that, Rob? Yes. You already feel it, Rob. How oh, about yes. you feel it, right? Now, we're going to take ourselves one step further. We're going to press with the tops of our feet, inhale, press with the palms, and let's come up as high as you can. And then once you're up there, you're going to test the strength of your back and try not to drop yourself all the way down. Test your back. Take your palms off of the floor. So use whatever strength you have. Place your palms back on the floor. Forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. That's one half of round one of the sun salutation. When you practice at home, it's a simple sequence, eight plus four repeats. So you can actually flow through it in 60 seconds. So if we do about three rounds, we should be good to go. It's like a barometer for the body. You know, you monitor your body, uh, the workings of your body. You right. just do a couple of rounds and you've already charged the whole body. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palm six to eight inches in front of your feet. This time, take your right leg back and then the left. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps and hold. This feels good on the back. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a wonderful release for the spinal extensors, the back of the spine, because even though we're folding all the way over, we're folding from the hip, so the whole spine is getting a beautiful stretch. It's getting a wonderful release. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands this time. Place the left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes. Place both palms on the right knee. Exhale and dip. 
The reason we keep our elbows out, I may or may not have remembered to tell you in the beginning, it helps us stay in the moment. The moment you flop your elbows, your mind starts wandering. The moment you do this, you're staying nice and alert, you feel alert, you look alert, and we are alert. Now, right knee is up, inhale the left arm up, Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place the right palm on top of the left and look up at the raised elbow and hold. Now when we turn to this side, you should feel a wonderful stretch of your obliques on the left side of your waist and a beautiful compacting of the obliques on the right side. So Ron, how do you feel on the right side? You feel the compression, right? Ron? Yes. You're there. <laughs> you said well, Rob. No, no, I said Ron this time. I actually uh, just pointed out on Rob, but right. I was asking you because I know that when we compress on the right side, it actually energizes us too. So it's actually massaging. I actually feel a little bit stronger, actually. You feel stronger, and you're able to hold it. Yeah. Inhale. Let's come out of that. Place both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in and the left. Raise your left knee. Take the right to meet the left in plank position. Keep your feet close together. If you're very tired, you can bring your feet out. But test yourself and keep your heels close. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. When you're up there, press with the tops of your feet. Press with your palms. Inhale, come up as high as you can. Now, it is going to be very natural when we take our palms off that some of that strength from the palms will not really translate into us being able to hold it up that long, but we're gonna see how far, how long we can keep ourselves up. Now, very gently take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in, inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. The tiny little pops and crackles you hear, please be reminded they are not Rice Krispies, they're just air pockets. Not a problem, nothing to fear. Inhale, bring your left foot and then the right between the hands. And you can do it in stages, both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. I need to hear both from you and from <laughs> Rob and Ron, are you sweating yet? I am. Can you see I it? I actually feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. I can see it. The sweat beads. Someone a get a closer. Yeah, a little moisture is coming. You feel that inner yes. heat, right? And actually, it's interesting because we had a Kundalini uh, teacher some, I think, about a week back, and you were there. Friday. Were you there? Yes. The gentleman with the turban, and he did an amazing job. I thought Kundalini was all spiritual, right? And I expected a lot of chanting. I was a little concerned. It's very he athletic. Said, it was. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> he talked about forceful breathing, and every time you turn one side, you do the exhale. You know how when I say go back, your breath, right. everything is about breath and stretching together. I thought we I was were in college sweating. sports team or something. We were sweating, right? <laughs> After yeah. the first five wow. minutes, I was like pedaling the bicycle. Sounds good. And that's a lot of movement. Yeah, I think it's the yang part of yoga, which I never knew I learned. You learn something every day, and then we had the gentle. Uh, person, the chiropractor, not yeah. chiro, was she the acupuncturist? Yes. She was so gentle, but she gave some beautiful explanations as well. I was leading the class, but she explained why we feel good. Right. You know, we get some really amazing special guests. So viewers out there, if you want to come here, take advantage of our special guests from time to time, please feel free to come and join us. And even if we don't have a special guest, you can get a free workout right here. So think of us as a link in your chain of fitness practice. Ben, Palms together. Quick question for you. The air sure. pockets, the pops. You said we shouldn't be concerned because I pop no. a lot. I know, so do I. Okay. But they're just air pockets. If the pop is followed by some kind of searing pain, right. then you may have a problem. Okay. And of course, you want to check with the doctor. Right. But if they just, every now and then, a tiny little pop is okay. They're air okay. pockets. Press your palms in, elbows are raised. This time, I'll try very briefly to mention the names of the postures. This is Namaskar Asana. Namaskar means prayer. Heels together, toes apart. Inhale, take your arms up. Hasta Uttana. Hasta is hands or arms. Uttana is raised. Arms raised, as you can see. Uh, push your, take your biceps behind your ears. Tilt your pelvis forward. Tilt your head back. Exhale, fold from the hip. Keep your back straight. Pada hasta, pada is feet, hasta is hands, literally hands to feet. 
hand six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. I think everyone's familiar with this posture. It's a very favorite one in, the, in, in North America. Exhale, press your heels down. Anyone want to take a guess? Ron, you know this one. What's the question again? What's the name of this posture? You remember it? Downward facing dog. That's right. <laughs> That's the English name. And in Sanskrit, it's called Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Adho is down or downward. My mind was wandering. <laughs> <laughs> Mukha is face or facing. Shwana is dog. Literally, downward facing dog. But you know what? Uh, the school I trained in used to call this Parvat or mountain. So whatever works is fine. It doesn't matter what's the name. Now, we've held it for at least three to four breaths. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Place your right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes on the right foot. This is Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwini means horse. Ashwa Sanchala, like a horse. Or equestrian, I think there's always an English translation. Exhale and dip. Now, the next posture we're going to take you through is called Parsva Kona Namaskara. Parsva is intense, Kona is corner or twist, Namaskara is prayer. That was the only posture that was missing from the traditional sun salutation. So we like to call it the Yoga Express twist because the only muscle group that we were not working in the sun salutation were the obliques. So with the twist, now we're also working the obliques. So we're getting a total workout right here. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Hold it right there for a couple of breaths. Inhale, let's come out of that. Both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in, in the right, raise your right knee, take the left to meet the right. Remember, our holding times in the studio are way longer than you need to hold them. We're doing this for you. We are workshopping it for you. Danda or plank, this is like the military style push-up, which I can see you guys, you're doing so much better. <laughs> Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Before we go down, this posture that we're gonna come into is actually called Ashtanga Namaskara. Ashta is eight, Anga is limbs, Namaskara is prayer, so eight limb salutation. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Uncurl your toes. Press the floor, press the, press the mat with the tops of your feet. Press your palms down. Inhale, come up as high as you can. Now, we will drop just a little bit. When you're ready, engage your low back, tighten your gluteals. Take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in, inhale. Come up as high as you can. So here's what we're talking about, the four repeats. Now we're going to repeat the next three as well. Into downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. Father has the hands to feet, palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. That's one half of round two. We still have exactly the same amount, the other half of round two, and a full third round. So we have five minutes. I think we're doing pretty good. Now the second half, I'm going to continue with the names. And the third round, we're going to swing through the whole sequence in one continuous motion. Palms together, elbows are raised, heels together, toes apart. Yes. Inhale. Take your arms up. From Namaskar into Hasta Uttana, from prayer to arms raised. Exhale into Pada Hasta, hands to feet. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the right leg back and then the left. Exhale and press your heels down. Keep your head between your biceps. And if you feel you'd be able to go deeper into this posture by taking your feet further back, do that. Do whatever it takes to make your adaptations. Keep breathing through the belly. Downward facing dog or Parvatasana. Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Inhale, bring the left foot and then the right between the hands. Did we actually, oh, we didn't do that. Right, I'm, I apologize. Bring the right, we didn't do the twist on the other side. Bring the right foot between the hands. Place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes and the left foot. I can feel the sweat. I feel good. 
both palms on the right knee, exhale, and dip. Thanks for the prompt. I'm glad you guys brought your foot forward, others I would have brought both feet forward. Now, elbows are out, right knee is up, inhale the left arm up. Parsva from Ashwa Santala equestrian. Parsva Kona Namaskara. Intense prayer twist. Right palm on top of the left. This also involves a little bit of balance because you're on one knee. So you want to stay very focused, very steady. Inhale, come out of that. Place both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in in the left. Raise your left knee. Take the right to meet the left in plank position. Knees, chest and chin to the ground. Ashtanga Namaskara. Exhale and dip. Eight limb salutation into Cobra or Bhujang. Press with your palms, press with the tops of your feet. Inhale, come up. And when you're ready, strengthen your buttock muscles. Hold yourself up as high as you can for as long as you can. Take your palms off. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale, come up all the way. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, bring the left foot and bend the right between the hands. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale, and release. I am sweating, but I feel great. How about you? I really feel it. Sweating, right? <laughs> I feel that. I, I feel, feel like I've worked up weights. <laughs> well, that's true, right? Studio is a little warm today. You know. Oh, come on. I drink some hot tea. Be honest. Yeah, you need your hot tea, but be honest. You're sweating from the inside, too. I am. You're feeling all warmed up, right? I am. I do. We don't need any sweaters here. So, hi, Winston. Press your palms in. We'll do a quick third round. Inhale. Take your palms up. Exhale. Fall from the hip. Palm, six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and bend the right. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps and hold. Inhale, bring your left foot between your hands. Place the right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes, both palms on the left knee. Exhale and dip. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. When the credits roll, we have another minute. We're doing well. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee, place the left palm on top of the right, look up at the raised elbow, and hold. Inhale, come out of that. Both palms beside the right foot, curl your toes in, in the, beside the left foot, curl your toes in, in the right, lift your right knee, take the left to meet the right in plank. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale, and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Press with your palms, press with the tops of your feet. Inhale, come up. Take your palms off. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale, come up as high as you can. Inhale, right foot and then the left between the hands. Both palms together. Come up with a straight back. Exhale. And release. We're going to whiz through the last round while we're doing that. Thank you, Josian, Barbara, and Fran, and Deshan for making this episode happen today. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Both palms.